hi guys welcome back to think tank in this video i am going to talk about triple integrals and spherical coordinates okay so we have to find the volume of a region below the sphere of equation x squared plus y squared plus x squared equals to one and inside a cone of equation z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared okay and this is just the general formation i've just written here dv is equals to rho squared sine phi d rho d theta d phi then if one convert z from rectangular coordinates to spherical coordinates is equals to rho sine rho cos phi then r equals to rho sine phi then rho is given by x squared plus y squared equals to z squared okay so the first thing you have to do when you're given a problem like this you have to visualize the information okay so i have to graph the this equation which is a sphere and this sphere is inside a cone so if i graph it looks like this this is the z-axis this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis okay just like this and our cone looks like this right and we have a sphere on top of the cone so this sphere is inside the cylinder okay that means we now know that the shadow of this shape is a circle so that means our theta our theta ranges from 0 to 2 pi okay so now we are left with the rho and phi and we know that rho equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared that means from the equation of the cone we know that rho is equals to 1 so ranges from 0 to 1 what about phi okay we know that x squared plus y squared, the solution of x squared plus y squared equals to r. That means z equals to r. Then z in cylindrical coordinates is equals to rho cos phi. Then r is equals to rho sine phi. With this information, we can find the value of phi. Phi equals to tan inverse 1. That means so phi equals to phi upon 4. Okay. Now that we have all the information we need, we can now find the volume. Then here we have 3z. Okay. Then we know that z is equals to rho cos phi. That means 3z equals 3 rho cos phi. Okay. So our new problem is now the triple integral of 3 rho cos phi then dv become becomes phi squared rho squared sine phi d rho d theta d phi okay then phi is the outer integral that means it's now 5.4 ranges from 0 to 5.4 then theta ranges from 2 from 0 to 2 pi then rho from 0 to 1 okay so i have to first integrate with respect to rho 5.4 0 2 pi 0 one zero and if i simplify here this is m as three phi cubed rho cubed cos phi sine phi d rho d theta d phi okay then if i integrate this with respect to phi i just add one to the power phi which is three then divided by the new power it's simple so this becomes pi upon 4 is 0, 2 pi 0, 
3 to the power 4 divided by 4 cos phi by the way I'm treating phi in theta as constant okay then putting my limits 1 to 0 d theta d phi okay if I replace rho with the 0 this whole thing becomes 0 then if I replace rho with 1 this becomes 3 over 4 so that means 3 times 0 3 over 4 cos phi sin phi d theta d phi okay so now I have to integrate this respect to theta I don't know if theta is so I just treat 3 over 4 cos phi sin phi is constant so I just add theta this symbol four over 5.4 from 0 to 5.4 then 3 over 4 times theta cos phi sin phi in my limits 2 pi 0 d phi okay if I replace theta with the 0 this was this expression becomes zero, but if I replace theta is two pi, you see that is gonna be three over four times two pi cos phi sine phi d phi five point four zero three over two pi cos phi sin phi d phi so now I have to integrate this with respect to phi so at this stage the symbol we can do that is to use an identity and we know that sine 2 theta is equals to 2 cos theta sin theta okay so i need to up here so the best way i can do that is to multiply this expression by 2 over 2 it's just the same as multiplying it by 1 so i'll just change the appearance but the value of this expression is just the same so if i say 3 over 4 and i say 2 over 2 times 3 over 2 pi cos phi sine phi d phi okay mm. as you can see this and this is equal to sine 2 phi okay so pi upon 4 0 2 times 2 is 4 3 over 4 pi sine 2 phi d phi it's now easy to integrate sine 2 phi okay so this is equal to 3 over 4 the integral of sine 2 phi which is negative cos 2 phi divided by the derivative of 2 phi which is 2 and the limits pi upon 4 to 0 okay and cos cos pi upon 4 negative cos 2 times pi upon 4 over 2 minus 3 over 4 pi cos 0 over 2 okay so here 2 into 4 is 2 cos pi upon 2 it's 0 okay cos pi upon 2 is 0 then 0 times this this becomes 0 okay actually I have to put a negative here since I was saying the upper bound minus the lower bound and cos 0 is 1 
so this is same as negative negative which is positive 3 over 4 pi times 1 half which is 3 over 8 pi and this problem is done thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share and comment thank you very much